Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review from the Tribeca Film Festival. <laughs> now, this one is a horror thriller with a huge cast. Who'd have known? <laughs> the name of this one is False Positive. And here's a quick synopsis, and I'll get into the cast. Lucy and Adrian find their dream fertility doctor. But after becoming pregnant, Lucy begins to notice something sinister behind the doctor's charms. And she sets out to uncover the unsettling truth about him. And this was starring Ana Alana Glazer, Justin Thoreau, Pierce Broston, and Sophia Bush from Chicago PD. Because I love Chicago PD. And she starred in another the Gilmore Girls or one of those CW shows. But I remember her on Chicago PD. I'm sorry, I did. Love Sophia Bush. But, <laughs> so, false positive. Um, Pierce Brosnan is evil. That is a that is a different thing altogether that you're going to get out of false positive. Now, false positive, it starts off very charming as we see this couple attempting to have a baby. And we see the process of them going to the fertility doctor played by Pierce Brosnan and just... You kind of know from the beginning that it's going to be something not so good in it as his assistant, his nurse assistant, is extremely Stepford wife creepy at the beginning of this film. And with the couple, we, we kind of see them going through everything, going through the pregnancy. But as they go through the pregnancy, you kind of feel something that's off. And you felt that way through the entire film, which I, I want to say it should be credited to the director here, that you feel that way, like something is off this entire film. But you just don't know if it's Alana, is she going crazy, or is everyone around her evil? And I think she wrote and produced this too. So, I mean, kudos to her for being able to pull this off. But... It sets a very disturbing tone. And j just to play a film and a horror aspect of a woman who's with her husband attempting to have the most joyous moment of her life of bringing life into the world and in a feeling that her body and her mind is being kidnapped by this doctor is insane. It works on so many levels because of her and Justin's performance as they play off of each other. It... it you feel like they're in love, but you always feel Justin's hiding something from her. And it's a couple of very disturbing scenes later on where you're like, oh, this is extremely interesting. Like, it's, it's a straightforward thriller. Nothing overly surprising happens in it in a sense of the way the plot moves. Visually, it is some very disturbing things in this movie. But those disturbing visual images... And the way the shots are set up with the cinematography of this film are great. Like, it it sets a tone for what you should expect out of this type of horror movie. Now, the third act is where the movie just goes off the rails. Like, it, it went from being a very disturbing, very deep, dark type of film into silliness by the time you get to the third act, which really brings this film down. But even through the silliness, you still got to admire the performances that you get out of the cast here. Like, Alana is great in this movie. Sophia is really good in this movie. Is playing the endearing friend who also had to go to the fertility doctor to have a child. And Pierce Brosnan is disturbingly nice and sick in this movie. <laughs> Through the whole movie, you know it's something up with them, but it really works well to move everything forward. Again, it's, the third act is just a bit much. It it goes into the realm of kind of fantasy type of things that happen, and it, it just takes away from the grounded elements that we get in the first two acts of this film. So the third act kind of lets you down a little bit, but other than that, this is a really solid horror thriller so false positive from the tribeca film festival but this one unlike other films i want to say this has distribution i want to say this comes out uh june 25th on hulu 
So unlike a lot of the other films you may have seen at the Tribeca Film Festival, this had already had distribution and already had a release date. So this one's coming on Hulu on June 25th for everyone to check it out. Out of a possible 10, I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. It is a very solid horror movie. It is disturbing. The third act is the only thing that keeps it away from being like an 8 out of 10. It's the third act. But if you want deeply disturbing type of horror film where it doesn't give you the normal over gore of horror films. Not saying that it does not have some gory elements in it and some very disturbing imagery in this film, but it's not overly gory. It is very a mood setting horror film, which anyone who loves horror understands what I mean. When I say a mood setting type of horror film, it's where everything, the atmosphere of it just sets you up beautifully. Again, if it was executed at the end better, it would have been a better film. But still, I think for horror movie fans, for horror movie buffs, this is definitely something you should check out. This has been another JVS Movie Review. Peace, people.